All right, guitar fans, today we're going to be talking about hammer-ons and pull-offs. Now, most of the time when I'm talking about hammer-ons and pull-offs, I use the word legato. So if you hear me say that, that's just kind of uh, the word used amongst musicians to describe a smooth and flowing technique um, through the notes uh, on your instrument. Because a pianist can play legato, a violinist can play legato, and guitar players can play legato. But when we're playing legato, we're using hammer-ons and pull-offs. And in case you don't know what a hammer-on and a pull-off is, well, a hammer-on is simply when you have two notes on a single string and you only pick the lowest note hammering to the higher note sounding the additional pitch. Okay? And a pull-off is the opposite of that. It's where you have two uh, or sometimes more notes, as you'll see in a minute, on a string, and you pick only the highest note pulling off to the lower note. Now, pull-off is a little bit more difficult to do because when you're pulling off, you're not just simply removing your finger and taking it off. You are actually doing a downward plucking or pulling motion, and your finger actually becomes the pick. So, if you can see this, doing that downward pluck or pull, that's what becomes the pick. Now, in the examples that I'm going to be teaching you today, we're going to be doing three notes per string, and this is also called a roll. So, the ascending roll would look something like this. And descent is just the opposite. Now, I'm going to show you three different shapes for your left hand. The first shape we're going to take a look at is the whole step, whole step shape. And that's what I've been using um, this far. And there's two ways that you can actually do this fingering. You can actually do it with your index, middle, and pinky or index, ring, and pinky, and I recommend that you do both. One of them is going to be naturally easier for you, and that should be your go-to fingering, but I do recommend using the other fingering as well because there are going to be some times when the other one is going to be a better choice based on what you're doing before or after the given passage. So you want to be able to use it if you have to. All right, so we're just going to be doing symmetrical shapes, meaning the non-scale patterns are just fingerings to develop this technique. Now, when I ascend, I pick the first note of each string, and then when I descend, I don't pick at all. But if you're just getting started with this technique, it's okay to pick the first note of the descending string until you develop more hand strength. So let's take a look at this shape. All right, so start off with that stuff slow and work your way up to warp speed. Now, another great way to work on just strength and development for these particular types of examples is working on your single string form because this is going to help the ascend and the descend and your turnarounds. And a turnaround is when you go from ascending to descending on the top or bottom strings. So one of the things that I really like to do is just work the ascending pattern. So I'm going to do this on the third string, and you're going to pick five, hammer on to seven, hammer on to nine, and then you're going to pull back off to five. So when you're practicing this, you're only going to pick the very first time that you play it. And this is going to go like this. All right, now you're going to want to work your descend as well. So this time we're going to start on the pinky. Picking that first note, the nine, only the first time that you do it. So pick, pull, pull. And the third way you want to practice this is by ascending and descending in a single position. So this is going to give us a five note pattern that goes like this. Index, middle, pinky, pull off to the middle and then start again. Um, one thing I'd like to talk about additionally is my right hand technique. I'm doing some extreme muting with my right hand to keep everything quiet. When I'm working on these single string examples, I take my thumb and after I do my first pick, I take my thumb and I lay it across my fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh string. And then I take the middle finger on my right hand and touch the B string. 
and I take the ring finger on my right hand and touch the high E string. This way, there is no possibility of open string noise any way, shape, or form. You're only gonna hear, you know, the string that you need to hear.